love. Yeah. I know you love. Huh. It's big number 94. It's big Justin Smith, the Cowboys. <laughs> One of my all favorite right. 49ers of all time. All right. Two, two, uh, two-time first team all pro. Three-time second team all pro. Made all pro at two different positions. He was an All-American in Missouri. I mean, the guy's a monster. He was a big 12 freshman of the year, and he's one of the best 49er defensive linemen at all of all time. And one of the greatest free agent signings no in doubt. 49er history. This no dude doubt. was a badass for this team for so long. Thank you, Cincinnati, for letting Justin Smith sign that six year, $45 million deal with the 49ers back in 2008. Justin, good morning. How you doing, man? Welcome back to the roast. Good, man. How you guys doing? Oh, man, we're fired up about Sunday. Rams, yeah. Niners, and look, you know a little something about this rivalry. They were still the same old sorry old Rams, but when you came to the 49ers, and especially where Harbaugh became the coach. You guys had some wild games against the Rams, including that tie at Candlestick. Kaepernick that tie at Candlestick. Came in. Alex Smith gets hurt. Kaepernick yeah. comes in. What do you remember about that tie, man? Because I know it drove everybody crazy that you didn't win, but you didn't lose. It was just a tie against the Rams. Yeah, I mean, that was the first tie I've ever been in. I, I honestly didn't even really think an NFL game could end in a tie. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't know they just blew the whistle and you went in. But, uh, yeah, crazy game. And, I mean, those guys used to be the doormat. And just the way the league is, everything cycles through. Uh, they made a trade. They got a quarterback they like. And they're pretty damn tough. But uh, it should be a good one. Yeah, I remember sitting in the in the stands for that game. And I think Jeff Fisher ran two fake punts in that game. And uh, that'll, that'll be one I'll never forget. But you guys... I mean, it was year after year. You're giving your heart and soul, blood, sweat, and tears every single week. And you guys had to go out on the road a lot of times to win games. Now, that first year, 2011, obviously you get the bye. But the second year, um, you're on the road after after the home game. And then the third year, you go on the road three weeks in a row. Take us through what it's like when the team is such a physical team and you got to play week after week after week. And it's like 10 straight playoff games in a row on the road. I, I mean, personally, and I, those teams in, it seems like this team now, it's kind of kind of nice playing on the road just because it's you, you circle the wagons. It's just you, your teammates, your coaches, the training staff going into a hostile environment. And, uh, you, you know, some teams thrive off that. And I know those teams that I was a part of, uh, that's definitely our mindset. We, we kind of like going on the road, uh, getting all the booze, uh, all the people cussing at us, yelling at us. And uh, kind of, it brought us closer together. So these guys can do the same thing. Hey, when you think about this Sunday's game, is this game a defensive lineman's dream? Yeah. You got Bosa, Armstead, DJ Jones on the side of the Niners. Elbow Combs playing really good football. Jordan Willis came up big yeah. last week with the block putt there to help win the game, to tie the game in Lambeau Field. Then on the other side, you got Bob Miller and that bad man, Aaron Donald. What type of, what type of D lineman is he? What, is this a D lineman's dream this Sunday at the NFC Championship, Justin? I mean, this is the type of football I love. I mean, with Bosa, Armstead, I mean, Bosa's one of the top, top guys. Armstead's up there. Aaron Donald is the top guy by just a little bit over those guys. And uh, Von Miller, <laughs> he's getting back his old magic. He's got to get off off the ball again. I mean, this is what I love to watch, and it's going to be nuts. I mean, some of the plays that the Bosa and Armstead made in that game, uh, you know, they were down there. They were driving. Uh, Nick beat the tackle and got the cause fumble. I mean, that that's the stuff I love. I mean, awesome player, awesome play. Great. When you know, like for for the casual fans, we could see when Bosa, you know, goes right around somebody, or when he kind of like pushes someone over. But for someone who's a sophisticated D lineman like yourself, what are the things that you notice that he does so exceptionally well that maybe I don't pick up? I. It's all his hand placement and how he sets the guys up. He'll come at him with the bull rush, and then he'll kind of jab in there, and he he's able to place his hands about as good as I've ever seen anybody do on that wrist or right behind the elbow there to get on that corner, and he can flip his hips really quick and make that edge turn. And uh, he, he's just a phenomenal player. No doubt. Justin Smith here on the morning roast on 95-7 a game. Former 49ers defensive lineman. I got to ask you, Justin, when you guys advance to the Super Bowl against the Baltimore Ravens, you know, everybody says, man, in the playoffs, guys are playing banged up. Yeah. Nobody's 100%. Well, we knew you weren't 100%. 
how hurt were you during that Super Bowl run? Did you feel like you could be effective? Because you gutted it out. You played in every single game. What did you tear your peck, I believe, uh, that season in uh, New England uh, in that Sunday night football game? I know you didn't play against Seattle, and then you came back and you were struggling a bit. Can you talk about how hurt you were during that Super Bowl run and how much it compromised you? Yeah, I, I tore my tricep. Tricep, oh, that's right. God. Yeah, I, it, what sucked was it was on my left hand. I was on the right side. So the first contact you, you have is on that left arm. And, I mean, I just couldn't use it. But you go out there, you, you do the best you can. And, unfortunately, we weren't able to come up with it. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it sucked. But, I mean, like you said, everybody's out there playing injured, nicked up. Uh, some guys worse than others. <laughs> And uh, nobody's healthy, but you're playing off emotion, uh, adrenaline, and uh, you, you can get through that. You know, Justin, I look at those teams 2011, 2012, 2013. The physicality on defense was just so unique. Dante and Golson in the back end, Bowman and Willis, Brooks, Alden, yourself, uh, McDonald. I mean, you guys were so physical. I look at this Niner team, and they're extremely physical, but like some of the offensive guys are ridiculously physical as well. Debo Samuel, George Kittle. Just from your perspective, how does that set the tone for the opposing defense and for the 49er offense when Kittle and Debo play the way they do? I mean, to make it as far as they've been making it, I mean, you have to have a physical team, and they definitely have that. I, Trent Williams as well. I mean, he's yeah. one of the most physical guys. Uh, he, he sets the tone on the offense, and the energy Kittle brings, and, and Samuel, and uh, everybody defensively. Now, on the back end, I don't think they're uh, – Teeing off on guys as hard as gold. <laughs> no, no. But those guys would have been ejected now. <laughs> yes, so, <laughs> they wouldn't have been playing anyway. So, yeah, I mean, just physical team. That's why they are where they are, and uh, I I look for them to to get this one and make it back to the Super Bowl. So you know, Rams are back in L.A. And when you played against the Rams, they were in St. Louis. And a lot of Niner fans are flocking to L.A. They took over Week 18 when the Niners beat the Rams in overtime mm. to make it to the playoffs. A lot of us are going down to SoFi again yep. this Sunday in L.A. Let's we'll talk about when you were with the Niners, Justin. What was it like during Rams week? Was it still that intensity even though they were in St. Louis? Uh, yeah, I mean, when we were playing them, they weren't that great. I mean, you don't look past anybody, but mm-hmm. – uh, Seattle was definitely uh, the team that we had circled uh, then. But, uh, yeah, I mean, always tough. Divisional play, and uh, especially if this is divisional play to go to the Super Bowl, I mean, this is going to be a physical, tough game. Yeah. And uh, I think they get it done. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. When you guys were humming, Pete Carroll was the big nemesis. I mean, chewing the gum, very charismatic, players coach at the time. Sean McVay's got a lot of similarities, though, very, very young. I've seen him running into the end zone, chest bumping Higby. If you're on the other sideline, what are you, what are you thinking about Sean McVay? Uh, I, you know, I, I never really paid that much attention to the coaches. I mean, really? they weren't out there running the ball or blocking, so... <laughs> I never really paid much attention to that, but uh, you know, emotional guy uh, Pete Carroll is, and uh, McVay I don't know much about. I know he he's got the guru title. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you think about? Uh, hey, sorry to cut you off, Justin. What did you think about McVay running into the end zone, yeah. celebrating the touchdown? You ever seen something like that? Uh, I I don't know. It, <laughs> it, it, it's the era is definitely different. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, Eric Armstead uh, is a guy that the 49ers, they broke him off a lot of money. He was playing on the outside. Now they've moved him back to the inside. Um, and he's playing like his best football right now. Uh, when you watch Eric on tape, well, what's the things that pop out to you? Well, I mean, number one, he, he's just a mountain of a dude. And uh, he, he's starting to get – he's getting more physical every year, is what it looks like to me. And he's getting more comfortable in what he can do. And – Looks like him and Bosa kind of interchange and move around, try to get matchups the way they they want, uh, a little bit the way we used to do with Alden and us yeah. moving around. And uh, once you get that comfortable and you can move around and basically call guys out on the O-line that you want to get after, which looks like what they're doing, that's when it gets fun. And that's when you come into your own. And those guys have definitely come into their own. And, and they're just having fun and they're making plays. 
and, and kick an ass out there. Yeah, well, hopefully they kick some ass on Sunday against the L.A. Rams. Justin, it's always a pleasure talking to you. 49er fans, love you. You're one of the best 49er defensive linemen in all time in franchise history. Um, enjoy the game on Sunday, and hopefully the Niners can invest in the Super Bowl for the second time in three years. Absolutely. Appreciate it, guys. Anytime. Love Justin you, Smith, Cowboy. The, Cowboy. the man. Here on 95.7 The Game. And when he signs.